Hello, I'm the Reverend Paul Lavender. And I'm the Reverend Oliver Course. And as the moderators of Churches Together in Northampton, we wanted, in these Easter days, to send our greetings to all the churches. We know that everything has been different. We know that we're all experiencing separation. We know that our communities are grieving. And that there are already people who weigh heavily in our prayers, and some, unfortunately, who are no longer with us. But we join with you in acclaiming the risen Lord Jesus, who comes to us and brings us peace. We want you to be encouraged, brothers and sisters, and live as those with a lively hope. Not just that these times will pass, not just because we will be reunited with those among whom we worship and serve, but because Christ is risen, and Alleluia is our song. During these times of coronavirus, we're acutely aware of who the key workers are. We join in acclaiming the heroes in our NHS, our supermarkets and our supply chains. We celebrate emergency workers, teachers and our local government organisations for all they're doing. We rejoice in the outpouring of generosity in our communities and not least those who are supporting and feeding the hungry and the needy. We want to encourage you to safely participate in whatever you can as an expression of our Christian discipleship and as our response to the human need around us. To ask you to support the Hope Centre, your local food bank and those caring for the homeless as they seek safe and secure accommodation. Our neighbours are all around us and as much as staying home and protecting the NHS will save lives, we also need to look out for each other. Use your ministry of letters, emails, phone calls and little acts of kindness. Encourage one another to seek out the lost, comfort the lonely and be good news to the poor. Because even though we're separated and isolated from each other, even though we're not able to worship together in our church buildings, even though live streams can't make up for the loss of one another, we are still the church. We are still a chosen people a royal priesthood, a people of his own possession, called to proclaim his works. So remain constant in prayer and active in service. Remain fully his and rejoicing in him who called us. Into his marvellous light. God bless you and those dear to you. Keep safe, keep the faith. And may we all be one.